Ever wonder why we call police? 13 News Now investigative reporter Evan Watson analyzed years of 911 calls in the seven cities to answer that question. With new laws, expanded training and funding questions, tonight we examine the current responsibilities of a police officer and if or how that rule should change. Police departments receive thousands, sometimes hundreds of thousands of calls each year. Those calls are tracked by topic, anything from a noise complaint to a car accident to an armed robbery. So if 100 yards of crime scene tape represent 100% of calls, what portion of that relates to violent crime, like assault, rape, or shots fired? In Hampton Roads, just three yards, 3% 3 of the calls for service, 3% of an officer's current responsibilities. Oh, really? Get out of here. Really? Wow. Most 911 calls are non-criminal, a disturbance or a report of something suspicious. In Chesapeake, more than half of all calls for service fit this description. Police officers also respond to alarms and threats, traffic calls, property crime, other criminal calls, and increasingly, medical calls for people in need, including mental health crises. In Virginia Beach, more than one in 10 calls are related to crisis intervention and medical concerns. I think it really speaks to that we ask police to do a lot. Um, they, they are law enforcement, but they are, are also community members. They are health care providers. They are mental health uh, consultants. They, they have a lot on their plate. Norfolk Delegate Jay Jones is part of a group of Democratic state lawmakers who introduced and passed police reform bills this fall, signed into law by the governor yesterday. The laws include banning no-knock warrants and most chokeholds, mandating officer intervention if another officer is using excessive force, enabling citizen review boards, and making it easier to decertify officers who commit misconduct. Some of the new laws require additional training. Should we ask police to do this much? I don't think this is what we envisioned when, uh, we, when folks joined the police force, but I think they understand the, the task that at hand and they rise to meet the moment. Republican Virginia Beach Delegate Jason Miaris criticizes some of the new laws, saying they make law enforcement harder. All of us want the same thing, which is obviously to get rid of bad cops. I think you do that with additional training. And Miaris points out the growing need for crisis intervention training. One thing that we have seen is there's a mental health crisis in this country, and so officers are increasingly having to deal with people that are dealing with serious mental health issues. That includes a new proposed Marcus Alert, a system designed to respond to people in psychiatric crisis without police force. It's named for Marcus David Peters, a biology teacher who was shot and killed by a Richmond police officer during a mental health crisis in 2018. Earl Lewis, a former firefighter turned security guard, says police officers need to improve on de-escalation and social workers should be more trusted and utilized during mental health crises. I think sometimes the show of force right is not needed. And I only can go to what I've seen myself, you know, which was William Chapman, my cousin. Chapman is the 18-year-old Portsmouth man who was shot and killed by Portsmouth officer Stephen Rankin in 2018. Rankin was later found guilty of voluntary manslaughter. Sparked by protests this summer, including many in Hampton Roads, Virginians are reevaluating the role of officers, which continues to evolve. We need help, whether it's resources, redefining things, reallocating, um, that's our job. Our analysis of 911 calls for service shows how much community members rely on police officers for things other than violent crime. Expanded training is one thing, but will that stretch departments too thin? And so, yes, when you're adding an extra layer, that's obviously something of concern. But the question is, what do you replace them with? Evan Watson reporting for 13 News Now. If you have something you want Evan to look into, let him know. Just send an email to investigate at 13newsnow.com.